The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source, and you always control your own keys. All right, chill. What's up? Hey, <laughs> Deverick, what's going on, man? Yo, yo, what's going on? How's it going? Yeah, oh, oh, two, two, two different vibes. You got like chill. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a party over there. And De- yes. Well, He's having a party too. He's just, just a little more chill, a little more relaxed. How's yeah, it going, man? You're, you're... <laughs> you definitely bring the vibe to Monerotopia. That's for sure. Both of you. Appreciate you yeah, guys we're gonna participating. Change... We're looking to change it up a little bit this year. I'm, uh, I'm excited what we can do. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's tell let's tell the people. Let's tell them about what we were thinking here. Yes. So the, the hackathon <laughs> thing actually is something that Luke Parker at the last Monerotopia kept going up to us. He's like, "You guys got to do a hackathon next year. You guys got to do." He was like mm-hmm. watching you guys in the workshop and everything. And I was like, "Yeah, sure, hackathon." And then so they did one at MoneroCon, which is cool. Um, yeah. I know. I'm not sure if what exactly came of it. I know they there was like a there were some winners. But now I think you guys kind of paid attention to that, learning from it, and goal here, do a hackathon and actually walk away with some useful product that, that can come yes. out of it. Useful is keyword. We right, not just theoretical, um, but actually like a working, a working thing, like a real improvement in the Monero space that, that, that could be u- used by the community by the exactly. end of all this. We want to create oh. ground zero to have... Um, a little sanctuary for innovation within the Monero ecosystem at Monerotopia. Um, and we don't want to water down the focus. So it's um, going to be focused on uh, one of the most widely used open source self-hosted um, payment pro- processors, a BTC pay server. As you guys know, Devrick has done a lot of work in integrating um BTC Pay server Monero on the Monero side with Umbrel. Um, he also uh, integrated a Monero node with Umbrel. So, uh, so no, Debra, you to... should you should be giving a talk too, man. Why don't you why don't you give a talk this year? I don't, I don't want to pressure about, you. Doug. I feel like I I, uh, I feel like I'm better on the ground building shit. I can right, definitely talk, right. and you know I can definitely talk and spew some ideas but i feel like we got a pretty good community of uh of individuals out here doing doing god's work like bounty coming in these past couple of years listening to him i haven't even given him his shout outs or even talked to him but uh just putting in work out there man so like i feel like all the people on the ground out there lets me get down and, and do my work and sit quietly and you know that's how we got uh umbro to merge the pr request to get uh monero out there yeah. we got over over 3,000 downloads already. So, I mean, if you think about it, if we had 20, 30,000, mm-hmm. 20,000 nodes out there, we already set, you know, up to 4,000 out there in the past couple months. That's, that's a amazing. significant portion of the network that's getting ran by Umbro right now. Um, so just good to see that we have a little bit of support um, looking for contributors there and always looking to improve the ecosystem. Obviously, one of the big things I'm looking to do is make it easier, not only for the users, but also for the merchants. I feel like, you know, over the past couple of years, we haven't done a really good job of improving the merchant space. Um, So BTC Pay Server being one of the best merchant solutions out there that's free open source software, I wanted to take an opportunity to dig in, make some improvements there. There There had already been some requests to improve some um integrations and features within the platform but there still is a lot to be desired um so i'm looking for the community especially the vendors to reach out and let us know what they're looking to have within the platform um not only that um 2.0 is coming out Uh, i reached out to uh btc pay server and let them know about the hackathon and nicholas dorier the the creator of btc pay server immediately responded and was like hey 2.0 is coming out would love for you to like take a review of that and see if there can be any contributions there. So if you know anybody wants to start contributing, not only are we going to make some improvements, but we also have to anticipate what 2.0 is going to look like uh, when mm-hmm. it comes to altcoin support. Um, and essentially what's happening is a lot of the code is being, a lot of the payment code is being abstracted away um, from the core code base. And each one of the um, cryptocurrencies will be added as a plugin. So someone needs to lead the charge to 
create that plug in for Monero and get it out there. Um, so I'm happy to kind of help get the team together and start getting, getting work done. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. And I'll, I'll let Chill finish her, her thoughts before I, before I chime in again. Well, the goal, the goal, um, so it's twofold. We want to first refine the user experience for both the vendors and the developers and really boost um, usability and uh, create like measurable adoption. Just like Devrick said, we can see with the nodes as well, like how many downloads we can see exactly and measure um, his work from last year with the workshop and Monerotopia, we can see, you know, the impact now a year later. So we want to create something similar. And secondly, we also want to, you know, bring together privacy nerds, developers whose, you know, our hearts are beating for the same cause. And we want to, um, you know, create a little group of these, you know, pioneering individuals who in are interested overall in improving BTC pay server, you know, integration to Umbrella and maybe future, um, you know, Monero Nodo. Like, who knows? Like, this mm -hmm. is just the beginning. Like I said, it's ground zero. So yeah. Um, we want, oh. yeah, so this, yeah. No, 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 fantastic. Yeah, yeah hoping, to, hoping to get um, a... a Abdullah down there as well. Uh, if you recall yeah. too, if you recall too, Doug, like day one of when we were talking about the Monero Node Oak some years back, I had yes. made some comments about BTC Pay Server and let's make yes. sure that we can get that integrated. And the reason being, we need to make it easy for the vendor to launch a solution that allows them to receive payments, including POS system solution, accounting capabilities. It can't just be a QR code where bros receiving a payment. Like that's great, but I'd like to see it where we can make multiple pay payouts to individuals. Let's mm -hmm. say we're, we're hosting an event and you wanted to set a defined list of individuals that should receive a percentage of the proceeds for some type of donation campaign and things like this. There's a lot of kind of just like opportunity in BTC pay server. And, and I want us not to only just like focus on Monero, but just think more openly about the idea of like improving BTC pay server because any improvement to that platform is an improvement to Monero in general. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, keep keep eyes on improving Monero and, and the integration there. Let's get the plug in ready to go for 2.0. Let's improve some of the work around like remote node integrations. I've seen a lot of requests to ensure that we can get some type of remote node capabilities there. That way, if a mer merchant wanted to run BTC pay server for some type of event or even within their shop, they don't necessarily have to run a node. Or yeah, that's what I was going to ask. They run it that's... remotely. Right. Let's say they run the node at home, but they don't want to run it in the shop. You know, like there's a lot mm -hmm. of like opportunity kind of like diversify your architecture, um, but do that in a simple way. Right. Like I'm, I'm all about the one click install installations for um, some mm -hmm. of those onboarding people or people that are coming into the ecosystem and trying to learn. But they can't dive in and figure out all the firewall stuff. It's usually home networking security stuff that they don't know. It has nothing to do with with Monero. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's about making it easy, making it secure for them to do. Um, and then over time, we teach them how to migrate to more um, more concrete solutions, uh, more robust solutions that let them be in even more control. Um, I know we, we talked about this, and if, if you can make this happen, this would be amazing. If by the end of Monero, Monerotopia, there's a way for me to easily add BTC Pay Server as a pay, as as a payment option for Monerotopia.com. Right now, we use the Monero Gateway, right? And I've told you, that, like, mm -hmm. I just haven't gotten around to setting up BTC Pay Server. I know it, it, it obviously can be done. It's really not super difficult, but it's not as noob friendly as actually the Monero the, how you currently set up Monero Gateway. And Monero Gateway isn't isn't really the most reliable um way to go in terms of accepting monero payments it's like it works but it's a little it's a little unreliable it's a little clunky so if mm -hmm. there's a way where you know I, i'm a word uh, monero topia is on wordpress we use woocommerce if i could just in a few clicks get btc pay server running up through Woo woocommerce um that would be huge i know that'd be big for me and i think that'd be impactful for a lot of other people out there who say okay i, I would definitely add monero to my to my checkout I use WordPress. I use WooCommerce. There's so many people that fall into that that category, um, and they could they could start you know accepting Monero through BTC Pay Server via WooCommerce. What do you think? Could that exactly. potentially be something that comes out of this? Well, that's that's already supported today. If you just Google WooCommerce BTC Pay Server, you'll see their great documentation where they pretty much walk through the process of integrating this into like a WordPress site. 
So the only um, thing so is yeah, the remote, can... the re running it remotely, right? It was would be the exactly the thing that yeah. Could help. Like right. if you if you wanted something like that where you wanted to keep your node at home, but you know you were out in the wild and you had deployed a, a new server, you could do that. Um, mm -hmm. It's not hard to keep a hard drive in your in your in your bag though, sixty gigs and no, no, no. But I mean, local, somebody so. is like like Monerotopia.com. If I want to add BTC Pay server to check out today, right now, I would have to run my own instance of BTC Pay server. Uh, there are some third-party providers, but the interesting thing is there aren't many third-party providers that are providing Monero support. It's focused right. On that's Bitcoin what I'm saying. Only. So that that's so, what yeah, you were you mentioning would, you before, would for so the that, most part. Yeah. Right. So so like fix closing that gap. So Monero users that want to add BTC Pay Server to the WooCommerce experience in a few clicks. So if we can close that gap with the so you don't have one to the, even run your own BTC. One of the simple versus. fixes, and there's already a bounty. It's going to get fixed here soon. One of the simple fixes that should help with the third party um, service providing is, is going to be just being able to allow any store to upload or, or use their own wallet. Currently, every BTC pay instance only has one Monero wallet associated with it. Uh, once the hackathon is complete, we should have uh, essentially the ability to deploy one instance and host multiple stores, and then each store can have a wallet associated with it. So thinking about Monerotopia, we have 10 vendors that want to use a solution. We could deploy one instance, and then we deploy 10 stores on that instance. And then for every store, we give out kind of a one of those little POS systems that I showed you with the little printer on it. You know, give that one of those to each one of the vendors, and that would allow them to handle all of their payment processing um, and not only that, it, it gives them a full point of sale solution system where if they wanted to have kind of like an iPad or some kind of like Android tablet front end sitting there where people could like click add to order, click add to order, check out, scan QR code. The merchant doesn't even have to be there to handle the payment processing component. You can leave that portion separate from the merchant. The merchant can handle the actual product delivery. Um, so there, there's a lot of opportunity here to improve, like mm. I said. So yeah, we can definitely get into that and look at ways to kind of, I do think Monero Topia is kind of ground zero because you're bringing in merchants into the house. You're trying to get them exposed to Monero for the first couple of years. We're letting them use cake wallet. Um, and then after that, at some point we would hope that they, they mature their operations, right? Mature to a point where they have accounting capabilities. If they needed to exchange to some type of like fiat currency, they could do that. Um, I would love to see someone build out kind of like an atomic swap plugin within BTC pay. So mm. if somebody wanted to swap from Monero to Bitcoin or Bitcoin to Monero, you could do that directly within the payment process mm -hmm. or some, through some automated solution. So, I mean, just don't even get me started on yeah. all this shit I got thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, it, I'm ver very certain that the code and just the work in general that will be put in will echo through generations because we are working backwards. So, like, if you look at what's happening in Brazil and some of these countries, you know, uh, where people are censored and can't even use Twitter and just like basic platforms, uh, you know, people will need something like Umbrella that's just easy to install, doesn't require any technical knowledge. It's completely undetectable on your own server. And with a click, you can instantly participate in the Monero ecosystem, Bitcoin ecosystem, have your next cloud, you know, do various different things, your own VPN even. So what we want to do is make sure, and right now, obviously, BTC Pay Server is the most widely used. It's super user-friendly. It competes with the commercial user experience that you would get from, let's say, a, a third-party um, payment pr pr processor. So it's just on the Monero side. It needs a little more improvement. And what I'm doing is I personally invite um, experience developers, and this will segue into the Devrick's <laughs> speech on who he needs in his yeah. team. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So far, I have, yeah, so far I have four very experienced senior lead developers who agreed. Some of them even have AI and blockchain experience. Some don't. And what we want, we really want to create a super team that you know can work on sort of. Um, proxy uh, adoption, Monero adoption-based services. Because everyone who is working on Monero is usually focused on the Monero code base. And this will be more like the commercial adoption side of Monero. 
Sweet, sweet. Let's let's tell the people what they need to do if they want if they want to participate, right? So we're look. How many realistically? How many coders do you think we get? How many coders do we want? Do we want them board hackers? We, we don't want, want more than fifteen. So you know, as you know, I'm a huge capitalist, but we are going very communist with this <laughs> this venture because it's a very small space. Uh, it, we are still in you know early days, uh, ground zero, and it's just the beginning of this innovation sanctuary. And what we want is we're going to use the prize pool. We split it up equally and we want the team to like zoom in and don't dilute the focus, but focus on like the issues. And obviously with Devrick's leadership, because he already worked on it, um, on improving the um, and refining the user experience for BTC Pay Server. So yeah, if you go to monerotopia.com and you'll see under the the what's new section, what's new this year, we have Copa Monero, we have the hackathon. You can now uh, click the hackathon. We added a little page. It's it's, it's pretty ugly. Actually, Sunita built this, put this stuff on her own. Not that she, uh, she you know, this isn't her her expertise. We usually have somebody else helping us out with this, but she figured it out. She got it up, which is good. It's working. Uh, so you go here. We have some basic, very basic information about the hackathon. Uh, the email, Monerotopia, oh, Chill's email, right? So you can email Chill. We have our email address here if you're interested. And then we also have a signal group set up. You can join that group, and start start chatting in there uh, if you're considering being a hacker. Um, yeah, we're, you know, we're, we're looking for people that actually want to take this seriously based on what you heard from Devrick, want to try to build something. It, so it's, you know, it's not, it's not for everyone, right? Uh, it's like, right. We are excluding, I guess, being a little selective in that degree. But if you think you have the skills and the interest to develop around that, those concepts, please join the Hackadon group. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think, I think it will be a fantastic experience. Devrick is really excited. We're thinking of maybe even starting it a day or two before, right? Devrick, I know you're saying. Yeah, it could, it could be a good idea if possible to, to start a day early. It, it definitely depends on kind of the um, what the group looks like and their their availability. Um, but starting a day early would give us the opportunity, um, ideally, to kind of get the work done a bit earlier. That way, not only they can enjoy the conference, but also um, leading up to the end of the conference, maybe we do some type of presentation um, of the, you know, the, the new deploy changes. Um, ideally we could even have some type of vendor that could experience like, you know, what those changes look like and, and give us a bit of feedback so we can continue kind of improving the experience. All right. Yeah. Very good. I think I was showing the wrong page before. Yeah. Here's the page. We got chills, chills email here, and then we have a link to the signal group. So you guys go ahead yeah, and enjoy so just to mention too, this will be this will be published on uh, Devfolio. I'm just waiting on them to approve the hackathon. That was the same service that was used to host uh, MoneroCon. Uh, went ahead and took that as the option this year. So we'll get more uh, information put up um, on on that Devfolio site once that's published, and we'll make sure to link that on the web page here as well. Um, if you do have any other questions uh, related to the hackathon, feel free to reach out. I'm typically most active on on Twitter. Um, so I'll, I'll be there, but yeah, definitely reach out. Um, .NET experience, I would say, is 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 a good have or, or or necessarily not necessarily a must, but definitely a good have. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, yeah, there the will be a prize, right? Uh, we haven't figured out exactly what the amount will be, um, but we'll, there will be, will be a prize. And we're thinking about let's we might as well talk about this out in the open, guys. Like you guys are watching watching things get get organized live mm. here and, and input is welcome. Um, we're thinking about maybe doing like a, a hacker house, like renting an Airbnb, right? Because then, so then people have somewhere like Derek was saying, initially in my mind, it was like, Oh, it's happening at the venue where we had the workshops. And there was like, no, no, bro. That's like, that's stupid. <laughs> like it may look cool, but if you actually want people to produce something, they're going to need to be able to collaborate uh, in a quiet space. So either we were going to try to get um, like a little like office to rent, like in very close walking distance to the venue where people can go and collaborate over there. Or we're thinking maybe even just a, an Airbnb, like an, a large Airbnb, like a building, you know, where we can have, you know, six, six rooms, whatever, 10 beds, uh, people people can come stay there. It could be walking distance to the venue. Um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm throwing that idea out there. I was looking into it. I think it's, it's, it's pretty doable. I know we're trying to raise some funds for this as well. Obviously, we do have our, our sponsors. You know, we're saying, saying Cake's contribution to the conference as a main stage sponsor. We're putting some of those funds towards this. Coin Cards uh, is we're putting all, all the sponsorship money they gave us towards this because they're actually, I know they had mentioned i think interest in btc pay server development um and then maybe we'll try to get another sponsor on board that has direct interest in seeing btc pay server development for monero and then plus we're we're doing right we're, we're trying to get like a little bit of a grant as well guys is that yeah that right? we submitted a grant to magic monero mm -hmm. um and that is remains to be seen <laughs> what's going to okay. happen there. Well, it's but, happening uh, no matter basically. what. It's happening. This is happening no matter what. I'm sure I would think we would get this. This seems like a very productive Monero grant project to, like we said, we're walking away with something actionable. So, yeah, it's as, you know, it's as Monero related as it gets. And we really focused on impact. That's why we could have just uh, said, okay, let everyone do whatever they, plan and then you know nothing comes out of it and that's why we said okay no actually let's narrow it down to what does the ecosystem need the most right now mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so that's how btc pay server is the most urgent when we want easy adoption for vendors right easy access so it's already integrated with umbrella and so we know that anywhere you are if you have a computer laying around you can fire up a BTC Pay server, start accepting Monero. Fantastic. Can Fantastic. you guys elaborate on um, what improvements you're trying to look for BTC Pay server? Because, uh, of course, it already works with Monero via the plugin. Um, but I, I'm guessing what you, you want is to have it be more instantly available on more platforms and maybe be a lighter and more reliable thing to set up. Um, if it if it would be a bit easier to set up, that'd be a nice one. But really, a lot of the features are around. If you look on like the the bounties that was out there that I called out for, there's a bounty sitting out there to, uh, I think it's like Monero bounties, um, essentially to improve the UI around any kind of config changes. Um, so like let's say you wanted to you know make some update to the config, you'd need to kind of like manually be able to do that. To do that via the UI would be a nice one. Um, remote node capabilities was another one that was requested. Um, essentially, anything you can do from the CLI, you would want kind of the capabilities to be able to do that from the UI on the front end. Um, that was a big one. And then after I reached out to uh, BTC Pay Server directly uh, in the Mattermost channel, um, Nicholas kind of like pointed me towards looking at the 2.0 migration that's coming up. And essentially, that's a complete um, rebuild of a lot of the internals where they're abstracting away all that payment code. So um, a portion of it will probably be research and, and looking at kind of understanding what those plugins look like. Um, they were going to ship the original release for Zcash. Um, I would argue even we should step up, reach out to BC Pay Server and work together to ensure that we build that plugin the way that we want to see it built. Why? Um, they're willing to work and, and, and collaborate and don't mind having people come in. So I don't even see why we couldn't reach out and, and work together to ensure that kind of, you know, goals are aligned there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. That makes sense. Yeah, realizing every time I tried to show the page, I wasn't showing the actual hackathon page. So yeah, um, Chill's, Chill's email is here on the bottom, guys. Email her or join the Signal group. There's a link to the Signal group. I mean, we could, you know, there, there could potentially be some other element too as well. Um, I mean, we could think about that, right? If you want to add some second category of something, right? So it could be the... Mm, we, yeah, <laughs> just like... Nah, 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 nah. We don't want to <laughs> dilute the focus. We want, you know, it's just okay. going to be watered down. It's only four days. And let's just look at what happened in at MoneroCon. All right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. One didn't finish, and the other one uh, produced a quickie wallet when we have cake wallet, mm, all mm. kinds of wallets. I don't know why we need another wallet. Uh, so we need to do something. Like, we need results. Uh, we need something to show for these four days. So yeah, I'd yeah, rather yeah. we do something small, but we do it really well, and the community and the ecosystem at large will benefit for years to come. Okay. I yeah, like if it. we could, if we could enable it, so and I, and I, I know we don't like depending on third party solutions, but if we could get it so at least the platform would allow you to have multiple wallets, 
um, per store that just opens up whole different avenues where um, you not trust the instance, um, but you know, you know, that's your wallet kind of thing. And then you connected mm-hmm. via tour and you have your own privacy configured. Or I really just think the Monero Topia instance where, you know, you're onboarding 15 different new vendors. They all want to try it out, but they don't want to dick around with deploying all this shit. So you're going to deploy it. We're going to install their stores for them and give them this little thing that they're going to log into their little environment and upload their products and sell. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I think, you know, just making it so remote node access is a big one. Multi, multi wallets is a big one. There were a lot of good like requests within that bounty that I think just all need to get rolled up. Um, we need to look at it and then also understand that even though we're developing this 2.0 is coming out and a lot of this is going to get abstracted away outside of the main code and we need to get it into a plugin. So what does the plugin look like? That that whole architecture is, you know, s- still, you know, remains to be seen. So I think we just, there's a bit of research, I think, that we need to have as well. And that's why I think it's good to get the team together early, just start having conversations, throwing things around and see where we can contribute to the platform. Um, I'm all about bridging the gap between Bitcoin and Monero, if you haven't noticed. Um, it's not one or the other for me, it, it's both. So making it to where my owners can get access to Monero, Monero easier and making it so Monero can get back to Bitcoin easier is, is, is good either way it goes. So I'll do, do you think... That. I know you said you were like talking to the BTC pay server guy. You think we could get them more involved in this, like get them involved in some way, like the BTC possibly. Pay I mean, gang? Cooks, Cooks, Cooks wrote the original um, integration. Uh, I mean, he's he helped me out with one of the changes that I did some time ago. He plays with it every now and then. He, he's just he's hired on and focused directly on on Bitcoin. But I, I could see some support, definitely conversation. Like if we have any questions, they they always help out within the the Mattermost channel. Um, mm-hmm. but, but yeah, I, I don't know if like they'll be flying out to Mexico city. We'll, we'll definitely have to, you know, reach out and, and see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see something like that, but we got to open that, that door first, right? We got to shake hands and, and, and nurture that. And, and they've been doing that themselves by just ensuring that we still had this support. Um, let them rip this shit out of VTC pay and you all going to be pissed off. So I suggest right. we get a group of five together and get this done. That's all I'm saying. I love it, man. <laughs> I love it. We're doing yeah. it. We're doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm on board. I mean, board. you should be so are- proud, dog, because you don't. I don't even think you recognized and acknowledged within yourself that, like, this is already part of Monerotopia legacy from last year. Like all the nodes and the Rick's work and the workshops. No, I do. We're already I do, I do, seeing yeah. results, and mm-hmm. we're just going to see even more results after this hackathon. Yeah, no, this is this is fantastic, and I, I love that you you guys have thought about this deeply, have come up with a good game plan, uh, and now let's just execute. So, guys, the the you know the success of this at this point remains in the hands of the people, like Monerotopia itself. Like we, we built it, now all you have to do is come, guys. Um, and I I like the idea of the hackathon house. Ha- what do you guys think of the hackathon house? Is that is that I'm looking at that. Love I think it. I might try to. I think I might stay there myself, because then it yeah, just you know, even that's, more. You it know, would be VIP great for the sponsor. So. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, no, we'd be having a good time. <laughs> we'll have, oh, I won't go to oh, the conference. Have a good though. Time. I'll just hang out that's, at the house. That's after hours only, so grown folks only. All right. <laughs> yeah, because one of exactly. my secret goals, and this is not, not not included in any of the writing, is for the team. For the hacking team to really bond together and get attached to these projects so that post event they can improve and work on it and like you know yes. there's some sort of post hackathon collaboration and you never know we might have like a crisis situation and then we have these uh, familiar developers who can help out so yeah you know the, the only reason why i want to be a little open so i could participate in the hackathon too and be like hey guys how about you work on this idea you know because I, I have a million we know Doug. a million we ideas know. as well but <laughs> I, I will i will we, we all back. have to tame you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is gonna be awesome guys super yeah, excited about good. this yeah it's it's gonna be fantastic um yeah any any other info you want to get out there before we move on no i think we're good to go reach out all right yeah guys reach out send go to monerotopia.com you'll you'll see the the you know find your way to the hackathon page you'll see chill's email there send chill an email get the conversation started jump at the signal start talking to the other people that are interested in it ask your questions Deverick will be in there chill will be in there um yeah balls in your court guys just have to jump in 
and spread the word. Spread the word to communities out there that you think would be interested, uh, hackers out there that you think would be interested. You know, get the word out beyond the Monero community. You know, get the word out to to, to devs that maybe they're they're working on BTC stuff. You know, let them know that this is going on. Who knows? You might find some people out there that aren't that aren't maxis. They're just interested in building cool tech and they want to participate. All yeah. righty. We will leave it at that. Thank you guys so much. Chill and Deverick, a pleasure as always.